Welcome back to Breakthrough with Patricia Murugami. Today, we are going to speak about board matters and how your leadership can be enhanced by serving on a board. And if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, how your business can elevate and grow if you have an advisory board or a corporate board. And there's a difference between the advisory board and corporate board. The advisory board gives you advice which you are not necessarily obliged to take, but we encourage you to take into cognizance the advice that is given by an advisory board and to give them feedback. A corporate board, on the other hand, has fiduciary personal liability that is attached to each board member. And so the things and the agenda that you discuss is critical to the progress of the business. And you as CEO are held liable to the decisions you make as a result of the board that you have in the sense of a corporate board. But let's move away from the technical jargon of what type of board you need to have to the question of to serve or not to serve on a board. First, I come from the thought process that it's important to elevate your leadership experiences. And how do you do that? Start by serving even on a small board, even that estate association board, even that non-profit board. I encourage you right there, you start to practice elevated corporate governance which means you learn how to read the pack, you learn how to run a meeting, you learn how to contribute in a way that is effective. A second thing that you need to ask yourself is, am I interested in the business of this organization whose board I have been asked to serve? Am I keen to understand how they manufacture the products that they manufacture? Am I keen to even go to the factory and appreciate how they run the business that they run? So that when I'm serving as one of their board or members, then I have an opportunity to really grasp what happens in the background by the time we see the financial statements that are shared with us when you're going into the board meeting. A third thing that you need to ask yourself is, do the values of this business match up with your own personal values? Because if you're called into a business which is in contradiction to your personal values, you are not likely to really have a positive impact as a board member. So choose wisely. And lastly, do you have the energy, the mental reserves, the network to really add a lot of value into the board that you're serving in? If you can think about those four areas, you have an opportunity to then ask yourself, then if I go into this board, will I grow and will I enable the board to grow and the organization? And for a woman serving as a board member, I always ask, am I ready to raise up three or more women to serve on the board with me. For as long as I am a female competent board member, but I am one board member, I'm not going to have the impact that I ought to have as opposed to when we are two or three. And in fact, research is showing us if you have three minority board members, where minority may mean they may be female board members where you have an all male board, they may be millennials where you have a much older board, we may have a different kind of diversity in terms of um, the way you even think, it means that if you're a lone voice, you may not have the kind of impact that you would have if you're three or more women on the board. So I challenge you, get onto the boards that you can serve, whether it's a small board, medium size, large board, international board, but get onto that board with the intention to serve, not to sit on the board. You're not there to get a sitting allowance. In fact, the real quality of your board leadership and your board contribution comes when you're earning nothing, when you're gaining nothing in terms of money or in terms of a sitting allowance. That's when the true mark of your character and your ability to serve is tested. So start small and grow and have the kind of impact that one day your children's children may be the ones who will serve as employees in an organization whose board you served on many years before. Don't forget, subscribe to Breakthrough with Patricia Morogami and raise your leadership impact to the next level.